I used to eat my lunch at Jeffrey Court Museum when I was working in his shop. And I'd feed all the birds. You'd have the little robin at Christmas time. And then all these pigeons would come flying about you. And they'd poke in, they kind of get right in there and they try and nick your food and they're cheeky. And I'd watch them all. And I was surprised to see that they're all the same ones every lunchtime. You'd have the fat one, you'd have the cheeky one, you'd have the one which was chasing all the girls, the ones which were chasing all the men. They're aggressive. And then suddenly they just all fly away in one big ball of smoke and a crow would come down and they're all terrified of the crow. And what's amazing is when their, their throat just puffs up and becomes this large breast. And if that was a peacock, we'd be like, whoa. But this is, there is a nice iridescent shine to them. I mean, these two are really, I can't tell if that's a fight or whether that's love. You can see them starting fights on statues, which we seem to build just so they can watch over us, really. And you walk over and you can see in the sunset, they fly in unison. They, for some reason, they just all decide to leave this little ledge which they're on and just fly into the sky in unison as one pack. And then come back to exactly where they sat before. I'm not sure what makes them suddenly perch off and leave. If they were starlings, people would be in awe of them. But because they're pigeons, leaving so much crap all over the floor, we're brought up to really want to kick them. Treat them like crap. And I'm not quite sure why, because they're, they are magical, magical, magical things. You know, it's like human life. They all just want to mate and they all just want to eat. It's very similar to humans. 